Well friends, in this video we will see how to check the drift and the drift ratio in the EDAPS. Alright, so this is also an important factor that you should see in EDAPS. You can check this parameter after you have analyzed your building. Alright, so uh, let us first see some theoretical background. Right, so for that uh, I have prepared uh, this uh, rough diagram over here. So you can see that this red box indicates the original position of the building and when it is acted upon by the lateral load, so the lateral load might be the earthquake load or the wind load. So this black box represents the displaced position after the lateral load has been applied. Okay. All right, so due to the application of the lateral load, the floors of this building are displaced by various amounts. Okay, so let me copy these values. All right, so I'll click on copy and I'll copy them over here. So delta 4 over here represents the displacement of the roof. Delta 3 of the third floor, delta 2 of the second floor, delta 1 of the first floor. And there is no displacement on the ground floor because it is attached to the footing. Okay. So this displacement of the floors is known as the drift or you can say the story displacement. Right. Story displacement is different from the story drift because story drift is actually the relative displacement of the floor. Story displacement is the actual displacement. However, story drift is the relative displacement right so uh, let's delete them all right so again uh, let's copy uh, these values we'll copy them so let's place them over here uh, i should have moved them right so the story drift here is represented by d4 d3 d2 and d1 as you can see that the story drift of the roof is d4 is equal to displacement or the story displacement of roof minus the story displacement of third floor right so you can see that story drift is actually a relative term right and story drift of uh, third floor you can see d3 is delta 3 that is the story displacement of that floor minus the story displacement of the lower floor right and similarly the story drift for d2 is delta 2 minus delta 1 and for d1 it's delta 1 minus uh, delta 0 delta 0 is 0 so it's 0 right <laughs> so everything is 0 okay this is the difference between the displacement or the drift and the story drift and there is yet another term that is called the drift ratio and that is equal to story drift divided by the height of the floor right for example if the height of this floor is like three meters then you have to divide delta 4 minus delta 3 or d4 by 3 and the resultant value you will get as the drift ratio all right 